Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Minecraft. This is Shabby and as always welcome and thank you for watching this beautiful video. Um, this is my 30th video of my Minecraft LP. So today we're going to do a bunch of cool stuff. And one of the first things we're going to do today is we're going to return to the nether. That's right, we're going back through the portal. I'm going to go through here, I'm going to find a fortress, and we're going to gather some stuff to, so I can show you guys some other cool things. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Alright, so it's been a while since we were here. Um, I think this is the way out. I wanted to go ahead and start putting a path down because of the lava and also because explosions will destroy everything but it won't destroy the cobblestone so that's really good um, let's go that way right yeah let's see if we can go like that way um, <clears throat> so yeah 30th episode I, uh, I've been getting some really great feedback from you guys. Um, seems y'all do like what I'm doing with a lot of stuff, but just sometimes it seems like, I don't know, like some people just uh, don't care. And that's okay. That's okay to each his own. I, uh, I don't think they have to watch my channel just as much as I don't have to watch anything they like. So that's fine by me. And I ain't hating on anybody. I'm just saying... That everybody can do as they please, but I really would like it if people come watch my stuff. So that's really what I gotta say about that. Um, so yep, uh, 30 episodes of this. I hope I haven't bored the crap out of everyone, which I probably have. I probably have bored you all a lot. Made you bored. You're like, I'm so tired of listening to this guy. Talk and talk and talk and talk. Well, but the truth is, I try not to talk too much. Even though I am trying to be a little entertaining for you guys. So, um, let's go that way. So, um, anyways. I've just been playing tons of games. Uh, sorry I haven't put out an episode in a while. I'm just uh, trying to record a couple more games to uh, get some videos uploaded. And, uh, oh, let's go. and um, yeah, just, just doing this and that, life in general, hanging out with friends and, you know, stuff like that. So, not, not, not a whole lot going on. There we go, there's a fortress. Um, you know what I should do? I'm being crazy up here above the lava being crazy alright well, let's scale it back some here we go and we'll go down over this way oh. alright I'm basically building this path right here just so that um if gas which are the big flying things around here like shoot me they'll uh They'll blow up other stuff, but hopefully they won't be able to to blow up any of this, right? So, or at least that's what I'm hoping. And I think that's that's how it works. But I'm pretty sure they can blow up all this stuff, so I need at least something to run back on, right? And that's where this comes into play. All right. Getting ourselves a little footpath. Hello, zombie pigman. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, zombie pigmen do not attack you unless you attack them first. If I would attack him first, they would all charge at me. So, uh, so yeah, there's a tip, tip for you. So you know. All right, and we are making this path. Oh, there was a ghast. Got him. Oh, what a mess. Oh well. Be alright. We'll just uh, keep doing what we were doing. I think I'm gonna go over. Yeah. Just 
just to get on the edge. Hope I don't run out of stone. That would suck. But, uh, I might. I might. You never know. You never know. It seems like I'm going to, unless I can just make it over to there. Let's see. Let me go out this way. Two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Is ten far enough? Ten is far enough. Alright. And if anyone's wondering how I'm able to do this, it's by holding the sneak key or the left shift key, which that's what it is standard. And um, you'll be able to uh, kind of walk off the edges, if you will. But it's because you're kind of hanging on. So that's how that works. If you'll notice, this is some of the uh, fancy nether brick. If you know what I'm saying. And the way I'm going to do this is I am going to start by digging myself some stairs through here just to get up here as far as I can. I'm trying. It's going to take a minute to get up here to the top for sure. Oh, there's something lovely. What are we say? What are we saying? <clears throat> Let me just keep digging up into there. That seems like it might not be such a bad idea. Let's go this way. Alright. When we're collecting plenty of this, we can take it back to build with it or use it while we're here or something like that. So that's good. Another brick. Lots of it too, instead of me having to cook it all up, but I don't want to completely tear down the fortress or anything. I'm just trying to yeah, get in here just like this. Alright, so there's two things I'm looking for. One, I see this way. And that is this beautiful stuff right here called nether wart. As you can see, I'm gonna destroy some of it. it pops out. That's what it is. It looks like that. Nether wart. And nether wart grows on soul sand. So I'm just going to end up taking all this, all this back with me. All right, trapping a pit here. Grab some of these stairs. Go ahead and grab more of this. And the other thing I'm looking for is a blaze farm. So we need to not get lost, number one. I need to know which way I came from, which was back this way. And one way to do this is to put torches and stuff everywhere, but I can't even remember where I came out over this way. So, alright, we'll find it though. We'll find our way back. It was somewhere over here, wasn't it? I remember it. Maybe it was back this way. Oh, I'm lost. Oh, wait, down here. Yeah, okay. Right here, we'll spam it with torches. That's where we came in. Alright, let's be careful and not fall off the edge and stuff. At the same time, we can look for Blaze. Blaze farm. Or spawner, as it were. Oh, there's a... There's a, a guy. Uh, yeah, bad, bad, evil... Slime guy. Oh, there's a blaze. Come on, blaze. I got him. I got him. Did he drop one? Oh, he didn't drop one. I'm trying to get a blaze rod from one of these guys. Seemed like he's. He, did he spawn over here? Or was it like. Hmm. I'm interested in that. There's one above me, maybe? Hmm. Well, there was one blaze in here. But I think it would be better if I just found a blaze spawner, though. Let's see about this craziness. Where does that go? Does that go anywhere? This goes to nothing, kind of. Oh, let's see if we can go over this way. I'm like, well... Wait a minute. Can I go through here? I can go through here. What's the deal? What's the deal? Didn't I come from this way? I did. Alright. Go up 
here, put out a torch. We've been here. Alright, circle, we've been here. Yeah, we've been here. And we've been here. We've been there. Oh, I haven't been up in here. That doesn't seem like much. Alright, let's stay to the right. Uh, let, me, let me see what's out here. The hallway, still. Alright. We're looking for a blaze spawner. That's what we're trying to find. I saw a blaze, which was kind of an odd location. But, I mean, anything's possible, right? So... Let's go this way, perhaps. We'll go up these stairs we saw. Uh, I might go that way later. I guess I can't go up this way, can I? Uh, have a look around. Nope. Alright. Let's go over this way, then. And we'll see what we can find. Some more nether ward if you don't want to grow it, which... I am alone, and I don't need to leave any for others, because I am considerate, because there's only just me. Oh, this is looking nice. Stairway up here. Alright, we've hit some, some kind of, some kind of room. Oh, here we go, there's a blaze spawner. Oh, wow, look at where we are, man. That is crazy. Oh, there's another blaze spawner. Oh, where am I at? Oh, this is gonna be bad, people. Charge! Alright, we got the achievement. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Oh! Don't kill me, guy. No, it'll be fine. Deactivate this real quick. I think. Oh, but didn't deactivate it. Didn't deactivate it. Get down. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta eat. I gotta run. Go, run. Whoa, get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, we got two blaze rods. That's good enough for me. We're getting we're getting out of dodge here. But at least we know where there are some blaze spawners now. There's a right past this room. Past the uh, two nether wart rooms that I found earlier, which is cool. Alright, let's get back home. Uh, down this way. Down this way. Alright. Alright. Oh, man. Left turn out, Kirby. Woo! Oh, here we go. Not gonna deal with you guys right now. I just gotta get back and show YouTube some things. That's all. That's all I gotta do. Alright, I think we're gonna make it back just fine on our little path. Which I might not follow the whole way, but you get the point. Tell me where to go. Alright, everyone, I will see you when I get back to the main world. Alright, everyone, we are back, and I gathered a bunch of cool supplies, but I'm going to show you guys what we need to make. One of the first things we need to make is take three glasses and make a bucket shape, like instead of iron, with, but with glass, and you will make yourself some glass bottles. Now... I'm going to make a few more glass bottles. Six should be fine. Yeah, six should be fine for what I want to do. And the other thing I want to make is you take one blaze rod, right? And a blaze rod can be turned into blaze powder. But instead of doing that, I want to put three cobblestone underneath it like a slab and a blaze rod on top, and we will get a brewing stand. Now that we have our nether wart, our brewing stand, and our glass bottles, now we can begin to make potions, and that's what I plan on to do, plan on doing, plan on making lots of potions. And I've even carved out a little room over here. Now the room's not done yet, 
because I am going to show you guys in a little bit how to make yourselves a secret door so basically you won't be able to see anything except for maybe the pressure plates on the ground and you'll be able to walk through and there'll be a secret door into this room which is which is really nice I thought or it's just the back way around if you will I was thinking about putting some uh, walkway out here you know connect the walkways type deal which I probably will do that just to make this place a little bit more nicer well, alright, so uh, what we want to do is we want to place down something to put this brewing stand on. At least I like to put something down. Another thing we need to do is we need to take our glass bottles and we need to go fill them with water. Now, there's another thing you can do. Hadn't quite got into that, but I'll make a video with me doing a bunch of potion stuff and show you guys all the different kinds of things you can do. Alright, let's right click on the brewing stand. You'll need to put your water bottles, now that they are water bottles, since you filled them with water. You'll put them in the brewing stand, and one of the first things you need to throw in the top is a piece of nether wart. And that will give you what we need for the first step. Now while that's brewing, I'm going to run and grab another component that I need. And of course there are a lot of components to making... Uh, to making potions and stuff, but um, we'll get into that later. I just want to um, grab a few things. Um, I think I'm going to do a slime ball and hmm. let's just do that. Let's just do that for right now. Do I have any? No, I do not. Okay. We'll just do this for right now. Show you guys how, how it works. Alright, so. Um, Okay, now what we need to do, now now you'll see that the potions have turned into awkward potions now. And um, what we want to make is take blaze rod, make ourselves some blaze powder, and I'm going to put a slime ball with the blaze powder, and I'm going to make myself what's called magma cream. Now we can take the magma cream and put it in the top, and that's going to brew down. Now, as you may have gathered, the magma cream has to do with like fire and stuff, so we are making a potion of fire resistance, right? So, um, I'm going to grab a couple more supplies. Let's see, it would be here. A piece of redstone and a. Do I have glowstone here? Why? Where would I have glowstone? Oh, by the nether portal. Yep. Alright, hold on, let me go down here and grab some grab some glowstone. Oh the lag, what 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 just happened? Oh I uh, hope y'all caught that because there was some serious Alright, there's a couple of the supplies I gathered and stuff earlier. I think I'm gonna end up making myself a nether wart farm too, so we'll hang on to some soul sand and stuff. Um the nether wart has to be kinda like where the mushrooms grow and stuff, so we might actually plant that down near the mushrooms. Which is convenient for it being close to the farm and stuff, so that's cool. Um, let's see. Redstone and glowstone. Those are the two things we needed. Alright, let's run back up these stairs. And I'm going to show you guys what we got going on. Um, by now, the potion should have finished brewing. And um, we should have a potion of fire resistance. And you can see the fire resistance lasts three minutes. But I want to add a piece of glowstone dust, I believe it is. No, redstone first. Yep, yeah, okay. Add the redstone first. That's right. And the redstone is going to extend the time that the potion has on it. And you can always, I think you can always go back and add more potions and then add redstone, like three different ones or something like that. I think it works like that. But as you'll see, now it's turned to 8 minutes instead of 3. So, there's a potion of fire resistance. And, just for fun... Oh, there we go, local brewery. Alright. And just for fun, I'm going to put a piece of glowstone dust in on two of them. Alright, now let's say you messed up or whatever. You put the piece of glowstone in. And it will revert the potions back to 3 minutes of fire resistance. So, I think it's like... It, it's kind of like if uh, you kind of mess up, you can go backwards. So that's really cool. 
And uh, yeah, there we go. We've got a couple things. We've got a piece of blaze powder, which is cool from a blaze rod. I might use it to make another magma cream sometime. Nether wart and some water bottles and stuff. And I'm gonna get a little, you know, setup going in here and stuff. Of course, I'm not gonna use this, and I'll probably redo the floor and stuff like that. But um, yeah, in just a minute, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this door right here. So, all right, I'll see you then. All right, everyone, we're back, and I am gonna make some more pistons. And I was just showing you all that again. And I'm just gonna make a bunch of them for right now. I uh, don't really need that or that. I might use some of that. Sounds fine. And I need to make four of the pistons into sticky pistons because that's how many I need for what I'm about to do. I could do more, but I think four is going to be fine for right now. Anyways, so uh, I need that. Um, what didn't I need? Ah, five more pistons. Alright, let's go back down here. Now I'm going to show you guys how to build this door. Alright, so as you know, the piston will face towards you when you lay it down. And we want to have the place laid down. Um, the default has a two block width when it's extended, so I'm going to need those two blocks. And here's where the, the, the block that it's holding is going to be. So it needs to go right here like that. And I'm going to put another one on top of it just like that. And I'm going to do that over here too. Alright. Now here let me let me tear this a little out of the way just to I was just kind of show you where the door is going to go. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is I'm going to dig out underneath down here. And I like doing it underneath because that's that's fine by me. Let me build myself a little passageway out of here, if you will. Alright, now we're going to dig out underneath here. And I'm not really going to use any any of this space, so this is fine. This is fine for what I'm about to do. Um, let's see, there we go. How's that looking? Let's put a torch down here, just for, just for temporary. Alright, so, let me go grab one more thing, some stone, let's see, three, four, five, eight, seven, eight, I don't think I need that many, or do I, I did. Alright, four pressure plates. Now, what we want to do is we want to put down the pressure plates where we want the door to be activated at, so if that's where it there's where the pressure plate's going to go, right there. So that lets me know that also, here, and I'll do it in wood, that that is where the redstone signal needs to go. Like so, right? And when you step on this, it, it uh, lights it up, right? So that's what we need to do on both sides, like so. All right, and then around the back over here, I'm going to rip this out just a little bit, so I can put one of those there like so, and one of these here, that means I'm going to rip that out, we'll put a torch up there, why not, why not, all right, and I'm going to run the redstone out of the back of the pistons like so, oh, that reminds me, I need to go ahead and go down over here like this all right and wait is that right uh, you can go ahead and put that there you know that that's just looking like nonsense all right okay so here's what needs to happen I'll just clear it. I'll fix all this later. That's the beauty of this game. You can tear stuff out and put it back. So right here, right there. Yeah, we'll just do it right there. That's fine. Right there, we're going to need a block. And that line is running into that block. And as you'll see, what we're going to do is put a torch there. And that will go ahead and extend those pistons. Now, 
what that means when I step on it, since I've inverted the signal when I step on it, it should detract and the door should open. So that's how that works. And we're going to do it down here on both sides. So that means putting some of this like so. Digging down into the floor a little, like so. Let's do it there. Alright. Alright. And let's see. Oh, I know this isn't the most proficient design or anything, but it's going to work fine just for me. like that that yeah yeah I think that'll be fine let's see let's test her out here all right both sides and both sides all right that's it the the rest is just filling this back in like so I left a torch down there which is good we, I think we, yeah, we can put stuff right there we can put stuff in the top this is coming over anyways, like that. I am going to come back and put smooth stone in, just to let you know. So don't worry. Oh, see that? That cut off the power. So we got to fix that. Alright. One there. One here. That can go there. And that is almost disguised. If I put this, 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 this and then fill that in. That is a door almost disguised. I'm just gonna go back and put smooth stone in so you kinda can't really tell that there's something different. And that's how it works. That's it. There's your door. Alright, we've covered a couple things in this episode. We went to the nether, gathered some stuff, started making some potions. Now that I have some fire resistance potions, it should be easy to go back and uh, take care of those blazes because they won't be able to hurt me with fire resistance and uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna go ahead and fix this put it back and uh, I'll come back with you guys in just a second all right everyone here it is here's the door it is finished walk through that way when you come from this way and uh, of course I'm gonna finish the floor and everything when you come through this way all you can really see is the pressure plates and there you go the door to my little secret potion making room all right I would like to thank everyone for watching this has been shabby and I hope to see you guys again please come back watch some more videos and I will see you guys next time all right